Okay, we're back, and this is week five, grade five, um, rotation, and this is the third video, and this is now where we start to do some drawing. Okay, so I want you to turn to page 308 of your textbook, the bottom of the page, a section known as, uh, with the name of practice, and follow along as I read the directions for number one. It says, copy each shape below on grid paper, use a pencil and ruler, and do it as neatly as possible, both the shape and the image in all cases. For each shape, rotate the shape about or around vertex V using the rotation given. Draw the rotation image and describe the position and orientation of the image. Okay, so first of all, let us establish the point V. Now from point V, we see that the shape is a rectangle two wide and four deep. And that is the shape we are working with for 1A. Now, about turning on vertex V, we are to make a quarter turn, and we are to do that in a counterclockwise direction. So I've left the clock there, and you can see that the, the clock is moving in this direction, okay? So we want to move in the opposite direction, the counterclockwise direction. So if I go from the top here, and I go around vertex V here, I just move it a quarter of a turn, and that brings me to here. So this part here is now here. This long stretch here has also turned around vertex V, and it has turned, and it is now up here. Quarter turn, counterclockwise would bring it up to here. So I can join those two lines, those two points there, and we know that it's a rectangle, so I just come down two squares that way, and across two squares that way, and now I have my image. Okay. So, I want you to do the same thing with 1B and 1C. Neatly draw the shape and then establish the vertex B, as you see it on the, in the textbook, and then do what it asks you to do. The fraction of the turn and the direction of the turn. Just notice that uh, they've actually done it in the different direction, in the um, opposite order this time. They've done uh, direction uh, first, uh, sorry, uh, point of work rotation first, B, uh, the fraction second, and the direction third. It doesn't matter. Now, for number two, A and B, I'm going to show you in general terms what you should be thinking in terms of with this. Let us say that I have, I'll put it down here, this shape, okay? And like this one, except the orientation is different, like this one, I'm gonna turn it one quarter turn counterclockwise. So, one quarter turn counterclockwise would bring it to there. So, counterclockwise, make it a full quarter turn. 
counter clockwise one quarter. Now taking it back to its original place where I just have the shape there, if I move it in a clockwise direction and I move it on the same vertex, so I go one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, I think you'll find that one quarter counterclockwise ends up being one, two, three quarters clockwise. They end up being in the same direction, in the same place. Let's do that again. So I have the shape here, this one under it. I move it on this point vertices, vertice right there. I move it up to here. It ends up being there. That's a quarter turn in this direction. And now I take the shape in the image again and using the same vertex, I go one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, and there you go. So one quarter in one direction is the same as three quarters in the other direction. That should help you to, to understand and how to report and answer the questions for 2A and 2B. Now three and four kind of go together and they are basically testing what you have learned so far in terms of all of the transformations. You've got in 3A, B, C, and D four different drawings. You've got a shape and you've got an image, and you're asked to determine in number three which pictures show a rotation, and how do you know and describe the rotation, okay? So, if it's not a rotation, you should be able to say why it is not a rotation, and how would you do that? Well, you'd use the three points that, that make a rotation. You have a point of rotation, you have a fraction, and you have a direction of turn. If they don't have any one of those things, then they're not a rotation. So, find which ones in those are, in fact, rotations, and describe them. What is the Point of rotation, what is the fraction that is being turned, and what direction is it? Okay, and the others you say why it is not. Then for four, you're to go to the next step and to say, well, they weren't 3AB, which ones of 3AB, C, or D were not what they in fact were, and how you know that. And I will caution you that some drawings can be both. So you have to look at them from uh, multiple perspectives using all the different uh, criteria for description. Uh, descriptions for translation, descriptions for reflection, and descriptions for rotation. Using those very strict understandings of what a description is. So that's number three and four. Now, for number five, let me get my trusty heavy-duty pencil here, and I'm going to go over 
to the other side of this page. I'll move my clock out of the way over here. And we have number five asks you to copy this shape. So when I look at the shape, I see that the line AB is four is vertical and it is four squares high or up and down. So there's A and there's B. Now I can use the same type of coordinates to draw the other points. C, for example, is four right and one up. Okay, so starting from B, I go four to the right and one up. And that gives me point C. Point A is one right and two down. Sorry, point D is from point A, one to the right and two down. So it is right there. I draw that in, that is point D. And now I join D and C and I have accurately copied the shape. Now, for 5A, they want you to predict and then draw a quarter turn clockwise about vertex A. Okay, so we still have our clock there in the picture and we know that it's, it's moving in this direction. So from point A, a quarter of a turn and clockwise would be this way and a quarter of a turn would bring me from here to here. So now I can, from point A, draw in a line four squares long and label that B1. And I've actually moved around so that I can apply the same description, the same uh, coordinates to get the new points in the, and, and copy exactly the shape. So C1 was four right and one up. Okay, so there it is. Four right and one up, C1. Now D1 would be from A, one right and two down. So one right, two down. There it is, D1. And now I join shape there. And I have drawn 5A. It is a quarter turn clockwise turning about or around vertex A. So I invite you to do the same thing with 5B. So that concludes video three. And we will do six, seven, and eight in video four. And uh, I look forward to doing that. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>